understanding your blind spots in a space of if you don't have lived experience or any experiences in it, understanding what they are and knowing yourself, I think is really, really important to really creating that authentic allyship because when you know what you are, you can then say, well, this is what I'm not, but this is where I really want to be. So understanding those blind spots. And then from there, you can then make some informed decisions around is it education? Do I need to maybe diversify my friends? Do I need to make sure that I'm going out listening to podcasts or reading or looking at documentaries? You know, just educate yourself and don't feel in a position that you have to kind of go into battle and make yourself miserable, but just kind of take the information you know and give it to other people and then take the opportunity to discuss it with them. Just because you're part of one of these underrepresented minorities, let's just use that word, doesn't mean to say you shouldn't be stepping forward and kind of go, oh, no, no, hold on. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but I know that this is not right because if I know if you did this to me, I would be outraged. So I will be outraged on your behalf. And that I suppose is allyship because allyship is not doing something for people that are not you. It's doing things that you would want people to do for you. And if, if it's something you would want someone to do for you, then do it for somebody else because that's just the way good societies and good people are.